Hey, Laura. Hello. Hi. How are you doing, Laura? Hi. Everything good? Very good. Sorry, I just finished my previous class. Okay. So, anyways, you know, it's good to have you here. All right. Good to see ya. So what's up guys? How's everything down in and uh, wherever you live, where you live, sorry. So how, how was your weekend guys? What, what do you do? How did it go? Um, I, hi, hello. Hey, hey, did, hello um, man. My weekend is bless you. Thank you. Tell, my tell weekend me. is is uh, very very hard because uh, I work. Your weekend was hard because you worked. Yes. You worked a lot. You mean? Because uh, yes. All right. Well, that that's good, man. You know, it's good to. It's good to have a job, right? So that's that's great for you. Thanks. Right, right. But uh, okay. What about you, uh, Evelyn? How was your weekend? Hey, I like. Is that is that a new hairstyle? Is that a new hair color? It is, isn't it? Yes. Nice. It looks, it it's looks uh, good maybe a uh, green color. <laughs> yeah, I like I like that. I like that. Very green. nice. I don't like Billie <laughs> Eilish, you know, I don't like Billie Eilish green. I like your green, okay? That green is good, right? Let it go, um, let it go. <laughs> yo, yo, veo, yo veo tu cabello ahorita y empiezo a sentir men, mentol aquí, you know, in my, my throat. <laughs> it's Elsa, she's Elsa from Frozen. Oh, yes. <laughs> let oh, it go, okay. let it go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank um, you, uh, I in the weekend I was go to the. Uh, I went. I went. Go to the parlor. <laughs> the, how do you say salon? Beauty parlor. Yes. Ah, okay. Beauty. Or, <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, that's that's nice. You know, that's nice. That's nice. Did you only do your hair or did you do your nails too? Did you do your nails? Nails and hair. Oh, yeah. okay. Right. <laughs> very good, very good. I did my nails too, you know? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right. Hey, that's good. It's good to have you here, okay? What about you, Stephanie? How was your weekend? Good evening. Uh, I The weekend I was resting. Oh, okay. All right. That's good. You know, it's good to rest. I have a, well, I had a very, how can I say this? I had a very fun weekend. Yes. <laughs> I, I, <yeah. laughs> but I also rested a lot, but you know, it's, it's complicated. <laughs> I can't give you details, but it was good. All right. That's all I can say, you know. All right. Very good. Uh, what about you, uh, Laura Mauricio? How was, how was your weekend? Hey, how come how come you have that last name? That is the first time I hear that last name. I know. <laughs> um, it, all the word tell me that way someone meet me. Yes. So yeah, my weekend was was one. Uh, we were here in house with my husband. Um, my little girl, and we have the visit of my stepmother, right? Oh, how nice! That's uh, awesome. Yeah. So we were resting. Okay. Did you did you like um, did you like last time's game, guys? Did you like Jeopardy? Jeopardy. What? Remember the game? I don't know. It's Jeopardy. It's Je Jeopardy. Uh -huh. Ah, yes. yeah, the Jeopardy. Game, the Friday game. Jeopardy, yeah. Uh huh. Yes, was funny. All right, all right, very good, very good. All right, guys. So, uh, anyways, let's get started. Okay. 
Uh, guys, by the way, how, how are you doing with the platform? Go, I am finished. You finished uh, the whole platform? The no, oh, okay. <laughs> one and two. Oh, okay, that's great. Thank you. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks, guys. If you if you if you finished uh, one and two, guys, thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. What about the rest, guys? Did you finish one and two? Yeah. Yes, I finished. Okay. All right. I great. finished two. All right. Great. So, anyways, so guys, we're gonna talk about time expressions. Okay. All right. That's what we are going to see today, guys. Um. Specifically, guys, we're going to talk about prepositions, okay? Prepositions for time expressions. So now, guys, if I have, you know what a preposition is, right? Um, let's talk about my cell phone, okay? Can you see? Well, you can't see my cell phone. Oh, there you go. All right. Ching. All right. So now, guys, now I have my hand, guys, right? And then I have my cell phone. So a preposition is, you know, it's telling me where my cell phone is located in relation to my hand, right? So, when I put a position, guys, is me dice, you know, donde está el teléfono en relación a mi mano. Got it? Yes? All right. Very good. So, my cell phone, all right? My cell phone is right now, guys, okay, right? So, if, if in relation to, I mean, in, in your perspective, okay, right? Vamos a ver de tu perspective, right? Right now, where is the cell phone? Where's the cell phone? Guys? Front of in front. front. Right? So it's in front of, of my hand, right? Now, where is my cell phone? In front. Behind. Behind. Behind, right? Now, where Behind. is my cell phone? Behind. Between. No. No, it's at a right side. No. Next to, next Less to my hand, right? Next. Good. Where's, where's my cell phone? Up. Up your up, hand. Up, up your, up your right. hand. All right. On top of my hand, right? All right. Where's, where's my face? Your your All right. Where's my face, right? It's in between, right? In between the hand and my cell phone. Got it? All right. So anyways, so what's the point of this, guys? Okay. So you can understand what a preposition is and why that is important. Okay. Now, we have preposition, guys, for time. Hey. But think about it, guys. If a preposition tells you, you know, the function of where something is, right? For example, guys, okay? Acordate, si una preposición te dice la posición de una cosa con respecto a otra cosa, right? Like, for example, answer me this question. Where is Dua Lipa? Right? I'm going to show you a, good, a cool preposition. Where is Dua Lipa, guys? In Dua Lipa is a heart. All right, she's in, your, in my oh, heart. Oh. Oh. Right. Do you what? like do you do a leap? <laughs> right. I think she's gorgeous. But anyway. He's love it. <laughs> so she right, she's in my heart, right? So see, dentro, right? <laughs> so see, right? Mm -hmm. In relation, right, to something. Okay, but what about time, guys? ¿Cómo pones el tiempo adentro de algo? Think about it, right? So it turns out, guys, it turns out. All right, For, guys, repeat, guys. It turns out. It turns it out. 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 No, it out. turns out. Guys, it's just, guys, don't complicate your pronunciation. No se compliquen la pronunciación. Solo imagínense como una sola palabra, right? It turns turn, like turn this. Out. Pretend it, it says E, out. right? It turns E, it, and then turns. Turns out. Turns out, right? It turns out. It turns out. out. It turns out. It turns out. It turns out. All right. It turns that, out. that means, guys, okay, so this, it turns out, it means, ahora resulta, right? <laughs> All right. Resulta que, guys. All right. Got it? Resulta que it turns out. Turns out that, right? Que Dua, Lipa, Dua Lipa lives in your heart. In your hair. My, in my hair, all right? Vive mi cabello? Of course, man, all right? No, in your no, heart. No. In, in your heart. heart. In my heart, okay? <laughs> in your mind, in your in mind. My, in my mind, exactly, in my mind, right? Very good, very good. All right, guys, so that's it. All right, so we're going to talk about time expressions, guys, and we're going to go over the practice, okay? So I want you to take a look at this, guys, okay? And grab the vocabulary that we have here, all right? So
So, um, can you identify? Right. Let's let's read this example. Okay. Well, the, let's read these examples. Okay. Um, and do me a favor. Try to identify the preposition. Uh, Laura Mauricio, right? Could you please help me read? I get up at seven in the morning on weekends and weekdays. Okay. All right. So I get up at seven in the morning on weekdays. Okay. So that's a whole sentence, guys. By the way, right? That's 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 uh that's a whole whole sentence. Okay. All right. So now, guys, where do you see? Okay. Uh, let's have Catherine. Right, Catherine. Could you please answer? Where do you see the prepositions here? What are the prepositions? Uh, here? At, okay, at, so have, in, and on. At, in, and on. Very good. All right. Very good. Uh -huh. uh, Stephanie, right? Where do you see the prepositions under it? Oh, let's take a look at the second example. Okay. Catherine, help me read it and let's identify the prepositions. I go to bed around 10 in the evening on weeknights. All right, weeknights. Repeat weeknights. Weeknights. Very good. Okay. And what are weeknights. what are the prepositions here? Uh, around, in, and on. Around, in, and on. Very good. All right, uh, what about uh, this example, Stephanie Lara? I leave work early in the in the afternoon on weekends. Very good, okay, and the prepositions? Early, in, and on. Good job, all right, Jose Fernando, all right, next example. Get at home late at night on Friday. Very good. And the prepositions? Late, at, and on. Okay. Now, guys, late, early are not prepositions, okay? We're going to talk about that later. All right? This, you know, this is a preposition, this is a preposition, this is a preposition, these are prepositions, okay? All right. Uh, next example. Uh, the, the, the actor. Let me read the next example. <coughs> I stayed up until midnight on Saturdays. Very good. Where do you see the prepositions? Until uh, and on. Okay. Now, until, is that a preposition? Until. Do we consider that a preposition, guys? Until, yes or no? Let me show you. So until, guys, what is the meaning of until? All right. So yes, guys, until can be used as a preposition. Okay. All right. What about uh, before and after, or on Sundays? Are those prepositions? Before, after, on. Yes, right. Very good. So guys. Yeah. Now, what do you notice, that guys? Why are we not saying? Okay, I get up. First of all, guys, we have three main prepositions here, okay? We have the preposition in, we have the preposition on, and write it down, guys, okay, right? Notebooks, okay? And we have the preposition at. These are the three main prepositions that we're going to focus on today, okay? Estas son las tres principales preposiciones en las que nos vamos a enfocar hoy, guys. All right? In, on, on and at. And at. So, all right. So um, so let's take a look before we, you know, before we take a look at the uh, vocabulary down here, guys, let's take a look at, let's take a look at this, okay? So what are you notice, guys? What can you notice, right? What do they have in common? Please uh, repeat, repeat, please. What do they have in common? Everybody repeat. What do they have in common? What? What do they have? Do they have in what common? do they have in common? All right. Okay. What do they have in common? All right. On um, repeat, guys. Unlike. 
Unlike. Unlike. Okay. Unlike. Unlike. My ex and I. My ex and I. My ex and I. <laughs> <laughs> I. All right. ¿Qué tiene en común, guys? A diferencia de, de, de vos y tu ex, right? So what do they have in common, guys? Meaning, meaning time. The meaning, mm -hmm. okay. Mm, okay. Days, mm. the days. Uh, the days. Uh, the time of the day, the uh, morning, evening, and afternoon. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, yes, Hector. Yes. Activities. Uh, all, all, day, all day in, in the week. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you think, uh, Nancy and Jacqueline? Evelyn? What do you think? Let me ask you something, guys. Can I say, I get up uh, on 7 in the morning clock at the morning in weekdays can, can i say this no in the morning why ah, okay it's a, a specific time so so you're saying that i'm wrong <laughs> yes First, the sentence is wrong, guys. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yes, guys. Okay. The Any, sentence is wrong. Okay. Any, shut up. All right. So, why is it wrong? Por qué está mal, guys? Porque es que podemos usar o tenemos que usar at or in or on. Um, let me tell you something, guys. And and please, please remember this. Okay. In all languages, prepositions all do not really have a translation okay en todas en todas las lenguas guys las preposiciones no tienen una traducción verdadera okay nunca guys okay um for example you know in, in spanish you say uh, mira la eh, ella vino de rojo yes can can i say this in spanish Ella vino de rojo. Sí. All right. But check this out. In English, she. All right. Ah. In Portuguese, yeah, yeah. you say, in Portuguese, okay, you say, ela veio en vermelho. Right? So now, in Portuguese, guys, okay, you're using the preposition. You're using this preposition, ain't, right? So ain't, guys, okay, this is, this, you know, si vos lo tradujeras, es, diría en, right? But listen, that's why they don't have translations, okay? They do not have any translation because you also say in English, right? This is what you say in English, okay? Uh, she came in red, see? Got it, guys? She came, she came yes. in red. You don't say she came of red. ¿Sí? Si la traducción de of, guys, es de, porque no decimos en, porque no decimos of here. It doesn't make sense, guys, okay? So we cannot, in, in Portuguese, we cannot say, you know, it'll be jiver melu, right? So it wouldn't make sense if you said it like that, okay? All right, so that's the reason why, guys, never translate. Por eso nunca debe de traducir, especialmente las preposiciones, okay? Because they don't have any translation, guys, okay? Got it? All right, so now in English, guys, they have a specific rule, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Now, do me a favor, guys. Um, I want you guys to have this written down in your notebook, okay? I'll give you two minutes. Le voy a dos minutos, guys. Write it down in your notebook. Written down, guys. Do not take a screenshot. Write it down. Those are, um, you know, this is how you express time, okay? So, for example, this is telling us. Wait. That you say either seven or seven o'clock. Seven o'clock is the correct. Both of them, all right? You can say, all right, meet me at seven, you know, seven in the morning, seven o'clock. Okay. All 
All right. Okay, you good, guys? Great. All right, so now guys, let's talk about at, okay? Now you have, um, let's see, uh, Nancy, could you please help me read, Nancy? All of this. At, this proposes preposition of tie in use to the discuss of a specific tie, including exception mm, such and night. Such as Example, night, repeat, su such as such, night. Such, such at night. No, such, such. Such. Yes, such as, as night. night. Such mm -hmm. as yeah, night. 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 Example, we have class Okay, night. Yes. Example, we have class at 8 p.m. We have classes at 8 p.m. We have classes at 8 at night. No, 8 p.m. 8. 8. 8. 8. Okay, 8 at night. Okay, good job. All right, thank you. Thank you, Nancy. Okay. All right, guys. So, let me show you the whiteboard, okay? So guys, um, let me see if I can do something pretty here. All right, so we're gonna do this, kind of like this, and this, okay? All right, anyways guys, so, this is this is basically how prepositions of time look like. Okay, hold on. Let me try to divide it kind of equally. All right. So guys, it comes down to this, guys. Okay. General specific. All right, and very specific. Okay, write it down, guys, okay? So this is when we talk about prepositions of time, which also, guys, you're gonna see that this works for place two, right? But we're gonna, we're just gonna learn about time today. Okay. All right. So, for example, guys, and I'm also, I'm actually, guys, I'm going to slide in um, the prepositions of place here too, and, and some, um, and some, um, some cool tricks, guys, on vehicles, right? And what we use for vehicles. So, basically, guys, this, the preposition, the preposition um, in, okay, refers to general things, okay? On would be used for more specific things, okay? And at, guys, it's used for very specific things, okay? All right? Entonces, we'll about the cosas generales a cosas bien específicas. Got it? All right, for example, guys, let me ask you something, okay? So let's, uh, let's see... Um, all right, let's see that your ex toxic or toxica is looking for you, right? Te está buscando. All right. And you call, you know, he or she calls and says, Hey, you know, I found you. I found you, Evelyn. I found you, Hector. I found you, Jose, right? Ya, los, ya te encontré, right? I know where you are. Yo sé dónde estás, right? Televisa presenta, right? So he tells you, you know, I know where you're at, right? So I'm going to find you. Okay, I'm going to 
come to your house, right? I know, I know. Where, where do you live, uh, Jose? Where do you live? Just, just the city. What city do you live in? La ciudad. No? All right, all right. So yeah, Bronx, right? All right. So I know that you're in Soya Bronx, right? Soya Pango. Soya Pongo. <laughs> all right. So, all right. So Soya Pango, guys. Okay. So your your ex talks get right, like talks get this. Man, I just keep in Soya Pango. I know that you live in Soya Pango. All right. Can she find you? Si ella tiene solo esa información, guys, right? If she only has that piece of information, can she find him? Puede encontrarlo a él, sí o no, guys? Si solo tiene esa pieza de información, si solo le dice, mira, soy pango. Yes or no? It's very difficult. Right? No, he wouldn't be able to find him, right? No lo iría a encontrar. Why not? Because uh, she needed the all right, Complete. so guys, si yo te digo soy a pango, right? I cannot find you. If I cannot find you, it's because I'm being, I'm being vague, vague, okay? So if I'm being vague, guys, that means that I'm being general, general right? It's so yo estoy siendo vago, right? It's super general, guys, got it? Okay, y eso aplica para todo, guys. Si las cosas son generales, right? And we're not talking about a, a preposition of place, okay? So if I'm, if I'm not saying, you know, oh, you know what, my, my credit card is in my wallet. Tipo, si no te estoy diciendo la posición de algo con relación a otra cosa, right? Significa, guys, que tenés que llegarte por, hey, am I being specific or not? Estoy siendo específico or not, okay? Evelyn, you seem kind of confused. <laughs> you good? Are you following or do you have any questions? Tienes preguntas or or do you want me to explain something? No, no question. Okay, very good. All right. So, anyways, okay. Si vos no me puedes encontrar, guys, yo te digo, mira, yo soy pango, right? In Spanish, guys, todo es en, 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 right? Got it? Um, in English, it's not, okay? So, again, I'm being very specific, right? Te estoy siendo muy vago. Si estoy siendo muy vago, I'm going to use the preposition. What preposition in. am I going to use, guys? In. I'm going to use... In. Everybody, what preposition am I going to use, guys? In. In. I'm going to use in. the preposition and, guys, okay? All right, in. so that's that's the preposition that I'm going to use, all right? So, voy a usar la preposición en, okay? Why? Because generality. Now, let me ask you something. What if you told me the name of the street, okay? Um... What's the what's the name of your street, uh, Evelyn? What's the name of your street? ¿Cuál es el nombre de tu calle? Just the just the street. Uh, the name is is. Uh, one two three I street. Know. Okay, vamos a llamarle one two three street. Okay, uh -huh. all right. Or you know what? Numbers, I don't... numbers not uh. I wrote. Iron No, Iron No Street, okay? That's what we're going to call it. Iron No okay. Street. Iron No Street, okay? Anyways, guys, so now, guys, if if I say, guys, I live in Iron, Iron No Street. Street. Actually, I live on Iron No Street. Now, why? Why am I using on here? Um. Because now, guys, is it possible Is it possible for my Toxica, all right, for my ex Toxica to find me, yes or no? Is 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 more possible, right. guys? If you have a name in the street, you can find right? Yes, it is possible, right? Very good. If it is possible, now that being that means that you're being specific, so you're gonna use on. Got it? All right. Now, tell me something. What guarantees me, guys, that she can find me? Que me garantiza que de verdad me puede encontrar? Like, how would you? If Make she knows number, the house number, the house at house number, the number at house. So if I say, guys, I, I live, I live in house fifteen. Can she find me? In I don't know, I don't know street. Okay. So at, I, I live okay. in house fifteen at. 
I don't know the street. Guys, for someone to find me completely, what is all the information that I need? ¿Qué necesitas para que alguien te encuentre completamente? What do you think, guys? ¿Qué necesitas? What do you need for someone to completely find you? Para que alguien te encuentre completamente. The address complete. The complete address. address. There you go. The okay, plus address. director, guys. Got it. Good job. Good job. Plus, guys, right? Good job. Okay. So, guys, you need the address. So, you say, I live in. This is an address in the United States, guys. Okay. This is how it goes. Okay. In 3212, January Street, apartment, uh, apartment two. St. Louis, you know, St. Louis, Missouri, 63139, okay, right? The zip code, all right? So this is a full address, guys, in, in the United States, okay? Así es como está estructurado un address in the United States, okay? Got it? So now here, guys, you don't say in, you, you use? At. At. Got it, guys? But think about this. In, in Spanish, guys, in Espanol, ¿Cómo lo decís? Vivo en Suyapango. Vivo en I don't know street. Vivo en 32, 12 generous. Todo es en, en español. Got it? So in Spanish, if you translate, guys, por eso lo digo, no traduzcan. Porque no tiene traducción. In English, it's like this because of how specific or how general something is, okay? En inglés, guys, tenés, solo te vas a basarte en, hey, estoy diciendo general, me puede encontrar la tóxica, me puede encontrar el tóxico, right? ¿Dónde me escondo, right? Got it? All right? Does it make sense, guys? Tiene sentido? Yes. yes. All right. Do you want more examples? Please. All right. Actually, I'm not going to give you more examples. You are going to give me more examples, guys. Okay? So let's 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 uh let's 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 see your examples, okay? Do me a favor, right? Necesito que todos, I need everybody you guys to send me one example of each, okay? Que todos me envíen un ejemplo y en su cuaderno, guys. Que hagan los cuadernos mejor, right? Porque necesito los tres. No me envíen uno, necesito los tres. Que me envíen uno con en, que me envíen uno con on, y que me envíen uno con at. Got it? Okay. Now, this is talking about places, okay? Esto, guys, is talking, is talking about places, right? All right? But we can also use the same thing to talk about time, all right? So before you send me your example, guys, hold your horses. Okay, la, la misma regla aplica para el tiempo, guys. Okay, so if I say, guys, um, if I say, right, let's see, let's say that my, let's see, um, let's say, let's say, let's pretend, you know, my toxic as uh, uh, birthday is on December. December 25th, okay? In Navidad, guys, okay? Now, let me ask you something, guys. If I say, guys, all right? If I say, you know what? My, right, let's look, my uh, birthday is in December. Hold on. Oh, my God. December, okay. Now, guys, si yo te digo, mira, mi cumpleaños es en diciembre. All right. Do you know the exact date and time when I was born? Yes or no? No. No. Okay. Teacher, you no. have and you can what? use phone, but is specific so so. No, here you cannot say on. Why not? If you only say December, guys, why can you not say my birthday is in, I mean, on December? Why can you not say that? ¿Por qué no puedes decir eso? Because you say just the month. Exactly, guys. Es como la ciudad, right? No me puedes encontrar, right? No puedes encontrar cuándo es la fecha exacta. Got it? Got it? What about, uh, if I say, guys, my, I, what about this example, okay? My birthday is on December 25th, el 25 de diciembre, right? Can okay. I use on now? Can I use on now? Okay, yes, guys, I can use on. Why? 
porque sabes el día exacto, got it? You know the exact date, la fecha exacta, right? Ahora sí puedes saber cuándo darme un regalo, got it? Right? <laughs> right? Very good. But that's not my, my that's not my my birthday, guys. My birthday is in a very different month. <laughs> All right. So now, uh, what is more specific than the date, guys? ¿Qué puede ser más específico que el, que el día? Your birth or the time? Hour? Oh. The time, guys. The, the time, okay? The exact time. Okay? When were you born, okay? So I was born at 2 a.m. All right? 2 a.m., right? So nací a las 2 de la mañana, okay? So with time, guys, it, the same rule applies, you know? La misma regla aplica. Solo que en vez de lugar, vos usas tiempo. Got it? Got it, guys? So the only time we're going to use add here, guys, el único motivo cuando vamos a usar add, guys, es para referirte al tiempo específico. Right? Si vos vas a hablar de fechas, tenés que usar on. Si vas a hablar de cosas que no sea el día exacto, vas a usar. What are you going to use, guys? Si no vas a dar el día exacto, you're going to use in, yeah. right? Yeah. So, for example, guys, for example, if I, if I write down this, okay? Si yo te digo, um, I don't know, I'll see you in Monday. Would this be correct? I'll see you in Monday? Raise your hand, guys, if you say yes. No. No. Si, si crees que sí, Levanta tu mano. Is this correct? ¿Quién opina que está correcto? If you don't raise your hand, guys, y si vos no opinás que está, si opinás, guys, que está correcto y no levantaste, te voy a preguntar, all right? I'm going to ask you guys. So, raise your hand if you think it is correct. No. Why? Okay, very good. Uh, Jacqueline Ramirez, why is it not correct? ¿Por qué no está correcto? Um, but... I think that is correct because it's not on a specific day. Just say, I uh, see you on Monday. Mm. But it's not saying uh, what, which day specific day. Okay. So, si yo te digo, esta semana, mira, eh, Jacqueline, te veo el lunes. ¿Me podés, podés saber que, de qué lunes me estoy refiriendo? No. Do you know what Monday I'm talking about or not? If you say the next Monday, yeah, because I think that it will be the next week. Exactly. I'm, I'm saying the same thing here, right? Te veo el lunes. Yo te digo te veo el lunes, no, ya sabes que es el próximo lunes, right? Right? You're, you're not going to ask me, mira, pero de qué año, loco? Right? No. Got it? <laughs> All right. So, guys, is it a specific or not, guys? If I say I'll see you on a Monday, yes or no? Yes. Guys, am I being specific? Yes or no? Si sabes el día exacto, guys, ¿está siendo específico, sí o no? Yes. yes. Yes, guys. So, this is wrong because I'm being specific. I know the date. So, it's on. Got it? All right. Now, what if I say I'll see you on July? You know, I'll see you on 2020. Is this correct, yes or no? No. no. And actually, 2020... Too, right because we're not going uh, yes. to right so i'll see you on 2022 why is it not correct guys porque está incorrecto o porque está correcto jose fernando tell me explain to us because uh, it's general 2022 is general is correct or incorrect uh-huh it's, for me, it's, it's the pen for for you. The, the context is, um, uh, how do you say, a century? And this century is, uh, it, this is at a specific year. But is I talk to, and, short time in years is general guys guys you're over you're you guys thank you thank you so you're over complicating your life it doesn't depend guys 
Es imposible decir I'll see you on 2022. Imposible. Impossible, guys. Right? No depende. It's impossible. Right? Why? The reason why is because you are being general. Okay? Imagine this situation, guys. If you want to be correct all the time. Si vos querés estar correcto todo el tiempo, guys. Imaginate. Imaginate que cada ejemplo de ignorar, right, guys, te está refiriendo a ver a alguien. Si yo te digo, te veo en el 2020. Si yo te digo, te veo en el 2022. ¿Vos sabés qué día? ¿A qué hora me vas a ver? ¿Sí o no? Do you know what date no. or time you're going to see me? No. So, It's entonces, very general. It's super general, guys. Got it? General se refiere a que vos no vas a saber encontrarme. Got it? You're not going to be able to see me. You're not going to be able to see what date. Got it? Si vos no sabes el día específico, you have to use N. Got it? So the right answer for this, guys, is N 2022 because you're being super general. Okay? Next example, Catherine, right? What if I say I see, I'll see you in May? All right. Uh, is this correct or not? No. Why not? Uh, could you don't say the specific date? Okay. All right. What do you think, guys? Correct or incorrect? I'll see you in May. No. It's on May. It's correct, right? It yes. is correct. Why is it correct, guys? Porque está correcto. Because it's general, no es because specific. This is it's not. No digas no is. It's not, right? Remember, it's not no. it's not specific, right? Okay, very good. Guys, porque vos estás vos, si yo te digo, mira, yo te veo, te veré, te voy a ver en mayo. ¿Vos sabes el día y la hora en la que me vas a ver? No. No. So you're being general, right? Imagínate, imagínate, right, imagine this, guys. Imagine you getting married, okay? Imagínese siempre que se van a casar. And ask yourself, okay? Ask yourself, hey, if my, you know, if my, um, if my, uh, oh my God, I forgot how to call this. Uh, if my, well, anyways, if my girlfriend, right? As tells me, hey, you know what? Um, let's get married in, in December, okay? Casémonos en diciembre, all right? Y diciembre viene, guys, all right? What December. day and what year? Exactly. So, so if, it, if she tells you guys, you know, let's, let's get married in December, do you know? Are you going to be able to, to, uh, to be ready for, 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 for a specific date? Or are you going to be married in the whole... December month, va a estar casando todos los 30 días de diciembre, o 31, perdón. ¿Te vas a estar casando los 31 días de diciembre todos los días? No, right? So, you have to use N, okay? Now, what about if I say, guys, you know, um, I'll, let's see, I'll, I'll meet you, um, I'll meet you in, in uh, Sunday. Is this correct, guys? No. What Sunday? No. Uh -huh. Because, right, I'm being specific. So it's in the specific, so I need to use the preposition on, right? Now, what about these guys? I'll meet you on 7 or on 6 p.m. Is this correct? No. No. Why not? Because it's Because very, it's very specific. specific. It's very specific, right? So you need to use what preposition? At. You need to use at. Okay. All right. Does it make sense, guys? Yes? All right. Very good, guys. So uh, thank you guys for sending me the examples. Did you finish? Did you finish your Examples with places? No? Yes? All right. I, yes. I, All right. It was with uh, places. I thought it was for time. You're also, no, for time we're going to do something different, okay? For places, okay? Now, after you finish, guys, send them to the WhatsApp group so I can check them. Right now, guys, what you're going to do is this, okay? I have an exercise for you, okay? So I'm going to send these guys to the WhatsApp group. Envíenme, guys, los screenshots de las páginas de su cuaderno, all right, to the WhatsApp group. 
and I'm going to send you right now the exercises that we're going to do. Okay. So, antes de que nos vayamos, guys, va a completar estos ejercicios about prepositions of time. Okay. El ejercicio que les pedí en su cuaderno, guys, son the prepositions of place. Okay. Send them later if you want. Me lo pueden enviar después si quieren, right? But send them. Okay. Now, these other exercises. Okay. Free intermediate. All right. I sent uh, the first one. The second one. And you also have this. Okay. Now, um, you're probably not going to have time, guys, to complete 12, 20 exercises. So we're going to do uh, exercises from uh, 1 to 10, okay? And then uh, after we finish the class, you know, you can finish the other exercises. And we're, we're going to check them out tomorrow, okay? All right. So let's work in couple, guys. Do we know what we're going to do right now? ¿Saben todo lo que vamos a hacer ahorita? Yes? ¿Todos entendimos las instrucciones? We all understand the instructions. Yes? No? No. No. <laughs> Please, Sorry, repeat. I was distracted. Okay. All right. Sure. Sure. And in the WhatsApp, guys, on the WhatsApp group, I sent you images, right? Containing exercises. You're going to choose which preposition to use. Vas a elegir qué preposición usar. In, on, or at. Got it? All right. Yes. Is that clear now? All right. Very good. So let's go, guys. Hi, Hector. Hi. Okay. Okay, I live in Armenia. Eh, estamos viendo, no es la primera de los ejercicios. Yes. The ones that you're going to do, guys, is... Um... Well, the ones you're going to do are the ones on the on the WhatsApp group, guys. Evelyn? The exercise. Can you come on Monday, Evelyn? One moment, please. Uh, so is it, can you call me on Monday or in Monday or at Monday? Uh, in. In Monday? Can you come is, is, no. is, is, is specific? On Monday. It's yes, on, it's on Monday. It's on. Yes. The, what are you doing? Okay. Questions? Uh, no. <laughs> you good? Okay, great. Okay. Number two. Ah, the, exer the, the exercise in WhatsApp? Yes. Ah, okay. Can you come Monday? Is uh, On Monday. On Monday is in. The use is in. Why in? And Monday? Are you sure? Ah, no, I no, think no, it's no, on no, Monday. No, 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 it's on Monday. It's, it's a spe a specific. Yes. yes. Okay. The exercise two, it rained a lot in uh, winter. In winter? It, in yes, winter. It's, it's, it's in winter, but it's general. Yes. Okay. Exactly. The exercise three is, my birthday is uh, at the... At? At. Yes, at I am agree. It's at at, at. at what? At the, at the sixth six of May. Of May. Uh huh. Mm. Why at? At is only used for time, guys. Time <coughs> for specific time from the clock, from from your watch. Ah, okay. In in this case, is uh, on. Exactly. It uses on. 
Okay. Mm. I usually get up. The second, uh -huh. I think it rains a lot on winter. Why is it on winter? Mm. Uh -huh. What? Because it's a specific. Yes, for specific for your specific things. So winter, winter is specific, really. So if I say, "Look, I see you in the summer or in invierno," I know exactly what day I'm going to see. Oh no! All right. It's in. In yes. Okay. My birthday is on the 6th of May. Mm, that's correct. Yes. Um, four, I usually get up at half past eight. What do you say? At Repeat, please. At, no. Yes. On. The fur. Uh -huh. I, I usually get up on half past eight. Teacher? Uh, usually what? I usually get up. Uh -huh. huh? Get up at half past eight. So what do you think? It's on. It's, I usually it's, get up it's very on specific. Half. No, it is very specific. If you're talking about time, guys, la hora, you have to use at. Siempre que uh -huh. la hora, tenés que usar at. Got it? Okay. Okay. Number five. I will meet her in two months. Yes. I think it's in. That's okay. correct. Next. Okay. Which one is it? I'm sorry. And uh, five. I will. I will meet her in two months. Okay. I will meet her in two months. Okay. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. The six. We usually have lunch. In one, I'm not no. sure this. At one, it's hour. Okay. Again, guys, if you're talking about the specific time, time it's at. Okay. Okay. Creo que le agarraron, verdad? I think you understood. Mm. Right. Yes. Más o menos. Are you good? Are you good? <laughs> <laughs> right. At at the uh, no, it's at no because he said that at is for time o'clock. Ah, okay. Exactly. At on on. Not o'clock. It's just for time. Si te estás refiriendo a la hora, right? Okay. I have a. Question uh, number, wait. Seven? Was... No, uh, in number 10. Tell me. I'm not sure if I usually go to Hector the... said at, I think it's on, but I'm not sure. Uh, I mean, read it. I, I, I don't know which one is it is. I... What sentence is? Number 10. Number 10. I usually go to the, my, my parent house. No, I it will be back. I think it's on, but Hector said it's 10. What sentence is? David, ah, I'm not ah, sure. I'll be back. I'll be back. 20 minutes. Uh -huh. I'll be back in. For, for me, it's at. I'm sorry, uh, number 10. Number 10. I'll be back 
at 10 minutes. I'll be back in 10 minutes. In, in 10, minute, 10 minutes, in not 10 at. Minute. The reason okay. why, I guess, is because why? you're not... If, it's, if I say in 10 minutes, I'm talking about... I'm talking about a, an, um, not a specific amount of time, right? No te estoy diciendo la hora exacta. Te estoy diciendo un rango. I'm not being really specific. Got it? Mm. Okay. Pero estás diciendo que vas a regresar en 10 minutos. Yes. In 10 minutes. It's a, it's a period of time. Es un periodo de tiempo. Right? I'm not talking about... I'm not talking about the specific... I know that you can find me, right? Like, if I say in 10 minutes, estás hablando de algo específico, but you're not referring to the time. So, think about it like this, guys. La única, el único motivo por que vas a usar at es cuando vos das la hora exacta, no cuando das un rango, ¿ok? Si vos vas a un rango... 10 minutes past 8, for we example. Can, we can exactly. say... Yes. Thank you, man. Huh? No, hold on. If you say in 10 minutes past, if you say, I'll see you at um, 10 30 for example right so you have to say i'll see you at 30 minutes past 10 porque ahí es como exactamente como que estoy diciendo las 10 y 30 all right but if you say in 10 minutes okay you have to use in cuando va a dar cuando vos vas a cuando vas a dar la hora específica la exacta exacta hora tenés que usar in okay in that case right just in that case all right I'm actually, I'm going to explain that to everybody because we have to leave this, okay? We're going to go back right now. You are mute. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, thank you, Laura, and thank you, Hector, for bringing this up. Uh, they asked me a question, guys, which is very important. In, in exercise 10, guys, what preposition are you using? If I say, guys, I'll see you, and it says minutes, right? So what preposition am I using? In. It's in, OK? Not at, guys. You cannot say at 10 minutes, okay? Now, here, guys, the reason why is because the preposition at, okay? Tienen que recordarse eso. The preposition at, okay, is only used, guys, is only used with specific, the specific time. hour, guys, okay? So you can only use add, guys, if you say, you know, 10.30 or 10.31 or 10 past, past 11, etc. okay? All right? Cuando vos vas a dar esos en la hora y hasta los minutos exactos, got it? But here, guys, you have to use in. Even though, you know, you're talking about time, guys, you are going to use in, okay? Aquí, guys, vas a usar in. All right, you're not gonna use add guys, okay? So this is the preposition here, in 10 minutes, okay? Got it, guys? Yes, And right. we can say on 10 minutes, no. No, 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 no. You cannot say on 10 minutes, no. All right, with that expression, guys, okay? Think about it like that, okay? Con esa expresión, guys, de un rango de tiempo, tenés que usar in todo el tiempo, okay? You cannot use on, okay? En la expresión es así, acuérdate. Si yo digo, voy a hablar expresión, ah, en tantos minutos, all right? You're going to use in, okay? So anyways, uh, before we go, guys, Jose, what's the answer for number one? You're muted. Guys, the mute answer, right? Let's unmute. All right, Laura, I, I'm sorry, for Fernando, you're still muted. Laura, what's uh, the it's answer? On. Okay, on, okay, on Monday, yes, right? Because specific day. Laura, number two. In. There you go, in. Number three, Hector. Okay. Is on. Yes, on. on. Very on. good. Stephanie, number four. Ready? Is at. 
Ad. Ad, very good. Uh, and let's see, Nancy, number five. Is in. Yes, in two months, right? Very good. Number six, Catherine. At. We usually have lunch at one. Yes. Uh, Evelyn, number seven. In. Mm. <clears throat> On. On. On, guys. Okay. On. All right, very good. Um, let's see, Laura, number nine, number eight. In. Very good. All right, uh, Nasser, number nine. Uh, very at. good. At very good. Uh, Hector, number ten. Well, we already know this one, right? In. Um, in. <laughs> in. <laughs> All right, very good, guys. Very good. Okay. All right, guys. So, um, so tequila or coffee from Starbucks? Uh, coffee. 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 Oh my God, coffee. <laughs> Is that how much you understood? Entendido como coffee? Yes. Was it? <laughs> All right. Tiene que estar claro como el tequila, claro como el vodka, right? Uh, no, no. Mm, okay. <laughs> what are you talking about? Laura está, está... <laughs> What are you talking about, Laura? Si este tequila, <laughs> si, si este tequila añejo no es claro. Oh yeah, you're right. So I'm going to say vodka because uh -huh. it's clear or clear, right? Crystal como el agua, all right? That's what I want, okay? So, crystal, uh, crystal clear, guys? Yes. Uh, yes. All right. More or less. More or less. Right. You know, if it is more or less, practice more, you know? Uh, do the exercise. I sent you the other exercises, guys, okay? Complete them, okay? All right? Anyways, teacher. Tell me. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Uh, for this week, how many module, modules shall we finish? You should finish module three and the midterm. The module three, guys, the midterm. Okay. All right. Very good. Send me the screenshots, guys, please. Uh, you should have completed, guys, section one and two already. Ya deberíamos haber completado la sección uno y dos, por favor. Yes. All right. uh, thank you, guys. Thank you for your effort. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, guys. See you tomorrow. Thank you, guys. See you tomorrow.